become empowered? Your journey will commence shortly. Congratulations! We are pleased to inform you that you are part of the chosen Empowered One. And you are now tasked to join this journey with us through the course of Empowerment Technologies. We are your Antec Angel, your digital assistant in this technological world. And I'm your Antec Ninja, who will help you walk your way through technology. And we are here to guide you to control the power within you called technology. And this journey with Empowerment Technologies, we are looking forward to learn with you to maximize and harness the technological power within your hands. So, are you ready? Let's Antic Journey begin! Welcome to Episode 1. Antic Angel will be assisting you today. But before that, let us first talk about the overview of this Empowerment Technologies journey. There are 16 levels that only students like you can complete. But in order to do that, we must train your powers of technology correctly. Because the incorrect use of your technological powers may cause harm not only to you, but also to the world. So, Empowered One, you must bear the weight of responsibility of using technology correctly. And throughout this journey, Amtec Ninja and I, Amtec Angel, will help you. Having said that, let us start by playing this game. This game is called Picture Twist. The mechanics of the game is to complete the picture and use it as a hint to guess the words. The theme is online systems, functions, and platforms. So therefore, it must be talking about the different use of ICT. All right, student. This is going to be easy for you. Let's solve that puzzle. Puzzle number one. Let's do this. Choose your first puzzle piece, student. Okay, that one. Given that there are two straight edges on its left and at the bottom, this must be a lower left piece. Wow! Great peak! You're amazing at this! Next is... Oh! This one only has one straight edge on the right. This must mean it is a right piece and a center piece. Therefore, this piece goes here. Yes! We're almost there. Can you guess the use of ICT? Not yet? Okay, let's try one last piece. Hmm, let me choose this time, okay? This piece, it has a straight line on its top, making it a top piece. So, if we compare based on our remaining pieces to fill, the puzzle would fit in here. Yes, I think that's enough. The three remaining pieces are clear. And based on our picture, this use of ICT is for education. We did a great job. High five! Now we have puzzle number two. There are fewer jigsaw hints, but don't worry. Let's do this in two moves. Here I go! Well, I just really picked this base on its color. So, I think color-wise, it would fit there. All right, what a start. It seems like this lady is in her laptop for something. Now, which is going to be our last piece? Great, that must be it. Now, to match this, this piece has the other side of her head of this piece must be here. Amazing! A credit card? She must be online shopping. That means that the word below has something to do with ICT in terms of commerce. Oh, the selling world! Doing great so far. Now, for a last puzzle. Now, this picture looks complicated. Let's choose. Interesting. 
that looks like a piece from the center. Seeing that it has all its four sides busy with patterns, judging the neighboring pieces, that only means that our piece fits in here. Perfect! Do you think we can do this in two moves? Well, I guess that will depend on which piece you will pick next. That one? Wait, if it has four protruding tubs, it must be a centerpiece as well. And there's only one centerpiece left to solve. Amazing! Now the picture is becoming more clear. Can you guess what is it? It looks like a man and a woman in a laboratory. Well, just to make sure, let's put off another piece, shall we? I choose this piece. This seems like the only piece missing from the two-thirds of the photo. So, I'm putting this piece in here. Now that reveals the entire pictures of what they're working on, they must be working in the field of science, which can only mean one thing. This is the use of ICT in the field of research. All right, yes. That's some great teamwork we did there. Congratulations! Just a little recap about what we just did. What we solved were different aspects of our society that information and communications technology has touched. As you can see, almost everything around you know has been influenced by technology. That includes our education, telecommunications, commerce, media and visual arts, designs and music, health services, and many more. I'm sure you are very much familiar with your best friend ICT, even way back before from your TLE subject. But today, we will try to compare and contrast the nuances of varied online platforms, site, and content to the best achieve a specific class objective or address situational challenges. Mark Anderson once said that if you can program it, then it's a platform. If you can't, then it's not. What do you think it means? By definition, a platform is any raised surface on which people can stand. Your school principal, every time she or he announces something, the elevated area he or she stands upon is called a platform. Or when you're out to mountain hiking and there's a spot where you can overlook to the cloud that is also considered a platform. Meanwhile, online platforms are technologies designed to run online to provide interactive online services. When Anderson said that the online platforms are programmed, what he means is that online platforms are developed, or to put into words, programmed, for our convenience. True enough, the convergence of technology has made almost everything possible online. Way back, in order to send a message to someone, we can only do so by writing on a piece of paper and bringing it to the post office. The post office will then take care of delivering your letters which may take days or weeks before it gets to your desired recipient. But right now, user interaction has been made possible in these online platforms. There are now a variety of online systems that allow us to instantly send a message to anyone online. Online systems are online version of information systems. But what are information systems? To explain that, let's call our Amtech Ninja. Hi everyone! For our first example of online platforms, social media. And an example of social media is Facebook. Before you can start in accessing Facebook, what do you do? First, you register. And in registering, you are allowing Facebook to collect and store information about yourself. Once you register, you are now allowed to view other person's information and vice versa. This is how Facebook manages our Facebook to their goal, to connect people together. That is basically what information systems are. It is a process of and tools for storing, managing, using, and gathering of data and communications in an organization. To sum it up, information systems are systems that manage 
and process information. When put up online, it becomes an online system. Online systems are then the technologies that provide services for people, like Facebook, Google, and under Google, we also have Gmail, Google Drive, Google Meet, and etc. And even online games are also online systems. Altogether, they are what makes up what we call online platforms. Now, don't be overwhelmed about online platforms. I'm sure you can relate when we start to enumerate its categories. Let's go back to our stepping stones to help us. We've already mentioned social media. Social media is a type of online platform that enables web users to create, co-create, discuss, modify, and exchange user-generated content. We're familiar with that. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, right? Well, that's what we thought. But look, it says here that there are also types of social media. There are also social network, bookmarking site, social news, media sharing, microblogging, and blogs and forums. Aren't you interested how they are classified? Come on, let's explore them one by one. First up is social network. This by far is the most common since these are social media platforms that allows you to connect with other people with the same interest or background. It's any site we use to express and communicate, like Facebook. Next up are bookmarking sites. These are sites that allow you to store and manage links to various websites and resources. The site is like a big website magazine where it features different stuff from different websites. And when you click it, it redirects you to the website reference, like this one, Pinterest. Now we also have social news. If the other one is a magazine, is this a newspaper? Absolutely not, because news from these websites are from common people like us. That means that anyone is allowed to publish their own news items and that creates a thread where people can comment and discuss about it, like Reddit. Let's move on to media sharing. My, my! This one is very familiar for people who like taking pictures or watching videos because examples of this are Instagram and YouTube. Media sharing sites, as the name suggests, are sites that primarily focus on uploading and sharing media content like images, videos, and even music or audio. Vloggers, travelers, make some noise! Moving on to microblogging. These are sites that focus on short updates from the user, like Twitter. And since these are short updates, it usually limits the user's freedom to express to typically around 140 to 200 characters per update. Last but not the least, on our social media platform categories are blogs and forums. I'm pretty sure we're familiar with the word blog. But did you know that blog actually originated from the word video plus blog? Because originally, blogs with B as in bird are websites that allow users to post articles and contents. Usually, it serves as an outlet for some to write about themselves, their experiences, work, passion, art, and everything. Now, which of these following websites mentioned earlier do you use? Let us know your username so we can follow you. On the next part of Empowerment Technology, our search engines, communication services, payment systems, advertising platform. That's a lot of learnings. Only here on DevEd TV.